There's not one guy, one person in the history of this program that's bigger than the program. What's better than this? Guys being dudes. Welcome to SEC country, yeah. baby. Um, I, I'll start because I have Oklahoma to cover, not because I have to, but because I believe they, I believe they will. Um, I think Oklahoma covers. Uh, I can't in good conscience. I, I wish I could, guys. I can't in good conscience, conscience, pick Oklahoma to win. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Tennessee 35, Oklahoma 31. Um, that's that's my game pick. Um, and I didn't trust you. me. I don't feel good. I don't feel good about OU scoring 31 at all. I, I just don't. But that's that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, I'm the exact opposite. I have to pick OU to win. There's a lot of animosity in my household currently. Uh, Oklahoma 34, Tennessee 31. That's what's going to happen. I don't feel good about it. Oklahoma scoring 34 points either, but that's my score prediction. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, me and Pat both taking the over at 52 and a half as well, Mark. I see 57 and a half, so that's a way um, maybe, different number. But maybe I'm in any case I'm looking wrong. In any case, my guess, my prediction, Oklahoma 31-28. We cover, we Woo. win the overheads. I love that. I love Woo. that. Mark, go ahead, or, Matt. Matt, life's too short to bet the under. I know, but I'm actually nervous. I mean, this is probably the most nervous I've been for a football game just because of such a big game early on that we're playing, and it's going to really change the course, I think, of the season. I'll give you – Ryan just texted me, Ryan T. or Ryan Pessimistic T. gave me his score prediction. He says – There's no way. He says uh, 38-14, Tennessee just going to wax us. That's uh, wow. Ryan wow. Pessimistic T uh, at its <laughs> finest. Right. So, uh, yeah, unconfirmed, right. but confirmed, cannot deny or take that away. I'm going to go text Tennessee. it to you. Did not confirm it? Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, text it to me. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pick Tennessee, but I will tell you a fun fact. This is the first time the Sooners have been a touchdown home underdog since November 21st of 1998 versus Texas Tech. That how That's how good OU has been at home. But this is going to be a truly, truly tall task. I'm taking Tennessee 38, OU 24. I just think OU's offense is going to sputter. I, I have not. I don't have a lot of confidence right now. I'm hoping it's with Nick prediction. Anderson and and the boys coming back will will help, but I just don't think it's enough to keep up with the firepower of Tennessee. Unfortunately, thirty eight twenty four. Mark was so correct, Matt, by the way. the The over no. under set at fifty seven and a half. Me and Pat both had the over. Go ahead, Mark. Yes, Mark. Yeah, just real fast, um, Matt. After after. The gigantic loss you're seeing on Saturday. Will you personally be escorting Brent Venables off the property to relieve him of his position, or like, what's your plan there? You're obviously not behind him. Oh, I support him all the way. I just think Tennessee is that good of a team, and I don't think OU's offense yeah. is too inept at this point, unfortunately. Yeah, and I don't think that's all on BV. I don't think that's all on BV. Speaking of Brent Venables, I've been thinking about this a lot. And sorry, I'm going to talk a little bit about the offense since I came in. No, the you're all good. Yeah, sure, come We in, haven't had a single in. wide receiver. Take over. We've had out of our top six wide receivers, Deion Burks is the only wide receiver to play an entire game. No one has seen this offense. And I'm really hopeful that that helps us in this game. Additionally, our offensive line is beaten and battered, and we're playing twos and threes. But when Brent Venables took the helm, of this program, I had a hot take. And that hot take was we don't lose big games anymore. Brent Venables wins his big games. I think this is the biggest game that we've played since he has been a coach. Maybe you can argue Texas last year, but this is a huge game. And even though our wide receivers are hurt and battered, even though our offensive line is hurt, even though that we haven't seen our offense complete, not even like by 75% of what it can be, We've had better recruiting classes in Tennessee the last three years since Brent Venables has been here. There are no excuses to lose this game as Oklahoma at home. We should win this game, and I hope Brent does it. 
Heck yeah, baby. I freaking love I love it, dude. I'm I'm fired up. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um Three, two, one. there's not one guy, one person in the history of this program that's bigger than the program. What's better than this? Guys being dudes.